guys it's erica e class and welcome back to my channel i would like to first and foremost say thank you to the subs i really appreciate you guys and shout out to miss miller again she was the last person i seen that sub to my channel and guys i really 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 wanted to come on here and tell y'all about what's been going on this last week um this last week i'm still kind of like in that plateau phase i did lose one pound one pound oh my god one pound but i it, it feel like i'm heavier than i was um i guess tmi it was recently just that time of month so i probably feel a little bit bloated or whatever i don't know but um yeah i do feel a little bit heavier than normal but um what i decided to do was put myself on a um 1200 calorie diet so i'm gonna start this week off with doing the healthy choice soups i also this is the chicken noodle soup and i also have the chicken and rice soup as well which i'm doing right now and it it's pretty good it's not all that bad it ain't mama's it ain't grandma's but it'll do it will do but nevertheless i decided to do a 1200 calorie diet for the next week and see how that pans out and hopefully i will see some results from it because this one pound is not doing it for me it's not doing it so officially right now i'm 225 because of the one one pound 225 so and nevertheless that is what i'm going to be doing for this week i'm not going to make this all long drawn out video um i'm gonna start back doing also as well first thing in the morning doing my smoothies and i'm going to get back doing my apple cider vinegar as well warm water honey and apple cider vinegar with a teaspoon with a pinch of turmeric and i also actually already have some mixed up um that i did in like a detox vinegar i had just mixed some turmeric inside um apple cider vinegar detox that i already had some stuff up in there um it has um lemon cinnamon and honey already incorporated in it so i just added some turmeric to it and it's has filtered water as well but nevertheless that is what i got going on this weekend i'm just going to switch it completely totally up almost kind of venture away from solids for a minute just kind of like do the little soups um for the next week and see how that pans out with working out um in the evening time at um normally i work out around about 5 5 30 i'll work, work out um no later than six i've been in my workout for the night and i'm also going to stick to the uh intimate fasting um eating time is going to be between 8 and 5 p.m 8 a.m and 5 p.m that's going to be for this week so we're going to see how that works out and if that would change anything with this plateau i have going on and guys I really, really, really want to try something new. Um, it's called Ko uh, Ko Lisa or whatever. It's it's something similar to Sweet Sweet, but I'm really kind of on the fence about it. I really do want to stick with my Sweet Sweet because so far Sweet Sweet has been working for me. Uh, but as far as like you know the belly fat or whatever, you know I put my Sweet Sweat on and put on a wrap. And I also wanted to try out the Vicks Vapor Rub too. But I'm not completely sure. Even though Vicks Vapor Rub is extremely cheaper than the uh, whatever the KO Luxa Rub. Whatever that stuff is. But I'll link um, what I'm talking about. I'll put that in the description bar once I get the name completely correct. To let y'all know what I'm talking about. But for 100 bucks, that's pretty on the steep side even for you know something like that but it comes with three different one is for cellulite one is for um fat burning and one is also for stretch marks but um i don't know i kind of want to stick with my sweet sweat but then again i do want to try it um i did a little bit of research on it um 
I found out about it through Instagram. Um, a suggested page came up, and that was one of them um, about that. But I also ran across a lot of videos about the Vicks Vapor Rub, and I see a lot of people have some good results out of the Vicks Vapor Rub, even though it's cheaper. So I might go with the Vicks Vapor Rub first and see how that goes before I go and spend a lot of money on something that may or may not work. You know, because I have gotten some mixed reviews out of that K-O-L-X or whatever that stuff is. I've gotten some mixed reviews about that, so I'm kind of on the fence about using it. So, but nevertheless, that's going to be my update of what I'm going to be doing for the week. So, hopefully, it'll pan out and I can get from under this plateau real quick because, baby, 25 more pounds, 25 more pounds and i'll be 200 solid for the moment and then i'll think about that extra 30 pounds extra 30 pounds oh yeah guys before i go what y'all think about this look huh it's pretty decent i've been practicing really really hard i'm not trying to become a makeup artist or nothing like that it's just i see that the makeup artists do i that i do follow such as jackie 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 she really does some amazing looks and princess bella known as carla and i also follow uh oh my goodness i forgot her name um because i recently just started following her she's from jamaica and she's real talented and these are all sisters of my skin complexion but i just i thought i said you know what i probably can do that i don't know we'll see but you know i'm not used to no full beats and such you know what i'm saying i just you know throw on some foundation throw on some lashes and line them up and i'm gone and um that's about it but i decided to do something so y'all you know tell me what y'all think think i did a good job but um tell me what y'all think about it so in the meantime between time you guys please take care